and I have to thank the present director, Dr. Jayanta Shankupta, for really encouraging us to finish this book, which was for me the people who work at the museum, because without their elected, and they would always come back to me. So let me quickly tell you a little bit about the process by which we did this. of the museum, it is an object that belongs to the museum. It is a, a sketch done by Rothentro Moitra. Commemoration. He wanted to understand the society who initiates the Asiatic societies of people who were custodians or who uh, worked at the museum. And mostly, they were very, very important in the 19th century. And Darwin was a very alive connect connection. And I think we have forgotten that. So here you are at the periphery because the center at that point is London. And everyone would like the collection to go to the uh, Makhunlal Babu who you see in this corner. He is no more. But I think he told us a lot about the kind of work he did by the director. In Dr. Jayanta Sen Guptaji, India. I am delighted to be here with you this evening to ceremonially release this wonderful volume on this historic institution, The Lives of Objects, Stories from the Indian Museum. The Indian Museum, currently 203 years old, is the oldest museum outside of Europe. And it is very appropriate that we should have meticulously researched and beautifully illustrated volumes that will celebrate this rich history of more than two centuries. And I am glad to see that such a volume has now seen the light of the day. And I expect more such volumes covering different aspects of the museum's magnificent collection will soon follow in its wake. Museums in today's world face many new challenges. In the 21st century, when the rapid advancement of technology has brought the whole world at our fingertips, museums can no longer act as the exalted custodians of our past, but they must proactively reach out to the wider public and function as a space where one can educate himself in an attractive and engaging way. In this sense, they play a critically important complementary role to our schools, colleges and universities. Especially history, whose visual element we tend to miss in textbooks and classrooms, can really come alive through museum objects if their stories can be told well. Our museums can and should thus function as visually enriched educational spaces in which the story of India and its place in the world can be told in an interesting way. I am glad to observe that the Indian Museum has sought to do this through its permanent displays, temporary exhibitions and various outreach and public programs. And I am also glad to see that some of the countless stories encapsulated in its objects and quite a few stories of the people who have worked here and shaped this institution have been captured in this. And the marvelous legacy so carefully documented in this volume will inspire the Indian Museum to build upon it and inspire other institutions to do likewise. The museum sector in India has taken new initiatives in the 21st century to undertake ambitious projects of modernization and upgradation, launching digital initiatives to place an increasing amount of their art collections on the public domain, offer exciting international training opportunities to their staff, and reaching out to different segments of the public in order to become inclusive museums. Indian Museum has a special responsibility to function as a leader of these initiatives and as a fourth front runner of the museum movement in our country. As the chairman of the board of trustees of this historic institution, 
I am glad to see that efforts are being made in that direction. But there is still a long way to go and we as trustees pledge our full support as always to the museum in its endeavor to scale newer heights. I thank all the present and previous trustees who have supported this endeavor. I also congratulate Dr. Indira Chaudhary and her colleagues in the Shristi School of Design, Bangalore, for producing such a wonderful volume and all the past and present staff of the Indian Museum who have helped in numerous ways in its making. I do sincerely hope that this heralds a new beginning in the research and publications program of this historic institution. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Yes, I Honorable Sri